This documentary reveals a little-known secret to tackle cholesterol plaque, previously only available to the rich and famous. You're about to discover how to completely clean out the plaque buildup in your arteries, drop your cholesterol to a healthy level, and boost your physical and mental energy to levels you didn't think possible. All by cutting out just one simple ingredient you didn't even know you were consuming. That's right. We're not talking about your favorite beef steak, butter, fat, or any other product you're consciously eating. We're not even talking about cholesterol as you know it. Yet you're blindly consuming this ingredient every single day. And when I tell you what this ingredient is, you'll be so disgusted that you'll never eat it again. You'll begin to obsessively read food labels and research every meal that you eat to make sure you never put this horrendous ingredient in your mouth again. And again, no, we're not talking about preservatives, chemicals, or anything else really listed on the food labels. Because frankly, this ingredient will give you the chills. I'll explain in a second what this ingredient is and how to completely cut it out of your diet. But first, the really good news. You see, once you've cut out this ingredient, you won't believe the positive effects you'll feel. Because the plaque buildup in your arteries is taking away 50 to 80% of your energy. Just think about it. Blood circulation is the lifeline of your body. Every single cell depends on blood to bring it nutrition and oxygen, as well as remove waste. If organs don't receive enough oxygen, they underfunction, And that's exactly what happens when plaque builds up in your arteries. You may feel shortness of breath if your heart's arteries are clogged, but that's the smallest part of the story. The cholesterol plaque builds up in every artery in your body, affecting every organ. It causes brain fog when arteries in the brain narrow, muscle pain and weakness when arteries to the muscles narrow, erectile and other sexual dysfunctions when arteries around the genitals narrow, leading to all kinds of complications years before you even suffer your first heart attack or stroke. And make no mistake, you will suffer a heart attack or stroke. That's if you don't take action today and cut out this one ingredient. Cardiovascular diseases are the number one cause of death in the world. And if you've already been diagnosed as high risk, meaning you have high cholesterol or high blood pressure, you're almost guaranteed to suffer a heart attack or stroke if you don't take drastic measures. But after learning today how to manage this one ingredient, you're going to see your doctor's eyes pop out with astonishment. Your doctor will not believe that you can bring down your cholesterol and clear out your arteries without drugs. How do I know? My name is Scott Davis. You know how they say that life flashes in front of your eyes before you die? It ain't true, at least not for me. All you experience is an agonizing, overwhelming, unbearable pain as though your chest is being ripped apart. And it's like your heart is shooting out 440 volts of electricity that are tearing through your whole body. You survived this one, but you'll not be so lucky next time, the doctor said to me. Now you're going to listen to me and take the cholesterol and blood pressure medications that I prescribed you, he continued firmly. Your heart is 93% clogged. Don't you understand? You're going to die. Permanently this time. And you know what I replied, the stubborn son of a gun that I am? Yes, I'll take these freaking prescriptions and I'll flush them right down the toilet. Because there's no way in the world that I'll ever put that crap into my system. And as stupid as my decision may have been, I'm glad I made it. A few short weeks later, tests showed that my heart was almost completely cleared of plaque. I was kicking ass in the gym, putting boys half my age to shame. I had this drive that I didn't remember since college. Best of all, I was feeling great having such fantastic health and knowing that I didn't have to suffer the side effects of these dangerous prescription medications. Now, I'll tell you exactly how I did this in a second. But first, let me warn you about two common myths regarding cholesterol and heart attack and stroke. Myth number one, LDL, bad cholesterol, is the cause of plaque buildup. Not true. In 2009, researchers at the University of California in Los Angeles analyzed the medical statistics of 136,905 heart attack patients from 541 hospitals across the U.S. What they found was shocking. Incredibly, 75% of those who suffered a heart attack had an LDL cholesterol score below 130 mgDL, labeled as acceptable, and 50% had a score below 100 mgDL, labeled as very healthy. Only 25% of those who suffered a heart attack actually had high cholesterol. 
Similar findings have been proven in repeated studies before and since. So there must be another cause other than a bad LDL level. And I'll tell you in a second what that is. Myth number two, lowering your cholesterol with drugs will prevent heart attack. A new review research from Massachusetts Institute of Technology concluded that no reliable study has ever proven that statins prevent deaths. What's more, this research shows that every single cholesterol hype study has been purposely misleading. The most drastic proof of the ineffectiveness of statins, however, comes from a study published in 2008 in the New England Journal of Medicine. The researchers showed that treatment with two statins lowered cholesterol much more than treatment with one statin alone. Good so far for the pharmaceutical industry. But then comes the bombshell. Because treatment with two statins led to a higher buildup of plaque in the arteries, meaning that your cholesterol level goes down, but your arteries get more clogged. This, of course, leads to heart attack, stroke, and all the other cardiovascular diseases you're suffering from without knowing it. I think you agree with me that lowering your cholesterol level is not the goal. Clearing out your arteries is. What is going on? Shouldn't a lower LDL cholesterol level improve your heart health? But it does not, as studies have proven. At the same time, statins cause all kinds of side effects that are often more serious than heart attack and stroke. One of the most serious is, statins have been proven to cause type 2 diabetes. Just think about it. For the last 20 years, while statin use has been on the rise, new cases of type 2 diabetes have more than doubled. Here are a few more examples of the serious side effects of statins. Weakness. Nerve damage in the hands and feet. Acidosis dysfunction of the pancreas. Muscle aches and pain. Sexual dysfunction. Anemia. Cataracts. Rhabdomyolysis. A serious degenerative muscle tissue condition. Liver diseases suppressed immune function, several types of cancer. These are just a few of the serious diseases statins cause without benefiting you at all. So what is the solution? This brings us back to the one ingredient that is the cause of all the plaque buildup in your arteries. The one ingredient that you're consuming on a daily basis without even knowing it exists. And how cutting it out will completely prevent stroke and heart attack. Now, I didn't come up with this discovery myself. It was revealed to me by an elite insider. In fact, all the major studies and research about this are so strongly hidden that the general public has very little chance of learning about this on their own. It's only because of a stunning coincidence that I was led to discover this ingredient and the cure for heart plaque buildup. Back to the story. I walked out of the hospital with conflicted feelings. Just having survived a heart attack, I felt blessed, but I was also scared. What if the doctors were right? What if I was committing suicide by not taking their drugs? I knew that if I didn't die of a heart attack, my wife would want to kill me for taking such a risk and not considering her, our kids, and our grandchildren when making such a drastic decision. I was so distracted by my thoughts that I didn't notice that I had walked right into and almost knocked over what seemed to be a younger gentleman. No worries, he said with a smile. And then he looked at me. Scott! Yes, I hadn't even recognized my old best buddy, Oliver. Same age as me, but he looked 20 years younger. I had hardly seen him since high school when he began to tour with some of the biggest rock bands. He became quite successful, setting up stages and other parts of tour planning. The last time I saw him, girls, drugs, and rock and roll had become his life. But it looked like his lifestyle had completely changed. I told Oliver about my heart attack and my concerns. You made the right decision, he said, and then he added, Let me give you the inside information of the rich and famous. Have you ever wondered why so many rock stars, actors, business moguls, and politicians seem to not age at all? How can they keep jumping around on stage, appearing in movie after movie, managing huge companies, and even running for president into their 70s and 80s? You hardly ever hear about them dying of stroke or heart attack, do you? and these people haven't necessarily been living the healthiest lives. Well, Oliver told me how the stars he worked with took off once or twice a year and went to secret health retreats in Europe. And in these secret retreats, doctors treat them with real medicine, not the drugs that pharmaceutical companies produce just to make money. We shouldn't even call it medicine, because they use no medications, just small dietary and lifestyle changes. 
So when Oliver almost lost his life to a heart attack, one of his clients, a major star, I'm not allowed to say who, sent him off to the German Alps in a private jet for treatment. Expecting to be put on an intensive low-cholesterol diet and an extensive exercise program, Oliver was in for a surprise. He ate like a king and enjoyed the best time of his life. For the month in the retreat, he was never hungry and he loved the food. If it wasn't for the education he got, he wouldn't even have understood what it was that was being cut out of his diet. He seemed to be eating everything normally. Because this one ingredient that is the single cause of all the plaque buildup in your arteries is something that you don't even know you're eating. After his retreat, however, his medical checkup revealed he had the heart and stamina of a 25-year-old. And people no longer recognized him because he looked so young. Oliver was even reluctant to tell me what the ingredient was because he had signed a non-disclosure agreement. But he did, and now I'll tell you. It's called oxidized cholesterol. And it's a completely different ball game than LDL, bad, or HDL, good cholesterol. New breakthrough studies have found this type of cholesterol to be the main building block of plaque in the arteries. There is actually not a trace of normal LDL in the plaque that narrows your arteries, causes heart attack, and drains your energy. It's all oxidized cholesterol. However, you'll never hear it mentioned in the mainstream media. Nor will you ever see it listed on food labels. I'll tell you in a second how to completely avoid oxidized cholesterol. But first I must explain what in the world oxidized cholesterol is. It's a chemical reaction. Just like iron begins to rust when it comes in contact with oxygen, LDL cholesterol becomes damaged in the same way. You could say that oxidized cholesterol is rusted LDL cholesterol. Let's take an example of how oxidized cholesterol causes heart attack. John has an LDL cholesterol level of 100. Pete has an LDL cholesterol level of 200. But 80% of John's LDL is oxidized, rusted, whereas only 5% of Pete's is oxidized, rusted. Now you see that John's oxidized cholesterol level is actually 80, whereas Pete's oxidized level is only 10. This may all sound a little complicated. Just think about it as if John is driving a small city car that is 80% rusted, while Pete has a big SUV that is only 5% rusted. Which one do you think is going to break down sooner? Yes, John's, of course. This explains why some people have plaque buildup and heart attacks with their LDL at 100, while others have healthy hearts, even if their LDL measures 200. Just like rust in a car spreads, oxidized cholesterol attacks and drills itself into your arteries, like a tick digging itself under your skin, causing inflammation and other damage. Only oxidized cholesterol builds up on your arterial walls. LDL does not. This has been proven in many studies, but doctors still focus on LDL instead of oxidized cholesterol. This is what oxidized cholesterol plaque looks like in your arteries. Only LDL, bad cholesterol, not HDL, good cholesterol, can be oxidized. And oxidized cholesterol does cause an increase in LDL. So that's why a high LDL level is an indicator that you're at risk of heart attack and stroke. But it's not the cause. Now, the big question is, how can you clear out your rusted arteries? Do you have time? Oliver asked. We sat down for a coffee while he explained this all to me in detail. I was surprised to see him load his coffee with full-fat cream. Every organic product oxidizes at some point if it comes into contact with oxygen. Fruits rot. Milk goes sour. Meats gather mold. And most importantly, when it comes to your heart health, fat goes rancid. Since cholesterol and fat are closely connected, just slightly oxidized, rancid fat will destroy the cholesterol in your blood. I could give you a long chemical discussion, but to put it simply, like one rotten apple spoils the whole barrel, just a small amount of consumed oxidized fat will spread oxidation around your arteries and create plaque buildup. Not all fats are created equal. Different types of oils can be highly oxidized before you even begin to feel their effects. In fact, the more processed an oil is, the more oxidized it becomes, even before you buy it in a supermarket. The worst type of fats are actually vegetable cooking oils, such as sunflower and safflower oils. 
These oils were hyped in the 1980s when the cholesterol myth became mainstream. People were encouraged to use these oxidized oils instead of healthy oils, such as butter, coconut oil, olive oil, and other healthy oils that don't oxidize quite so easily. In fact, things high in saturated fats, like butter and especially coconut oil, are almost impossible to oxidize. So what are the results after 30 years of propaganda against cholesterol and the use of these dangerous cooking oils? More people have high cholesterol and are dying from heart attack and stroke than 30 years ago. If you read somewhere that the number of people with high cholesterol has gone down, it's because millions of people are taking statins that force cholesterol down. But that hasn't reduced the number of people dying from cardiovascular diseases. Contrarily, more people are dying. In fact, the number of people with high cholesterol plus the number of people taking statins is way higher than before the ridiculous low cholesterol diet propaganda began. Statistics from the American Heart Association tell us a lot. Cardiovascular diseases are still the leading cause of death, representing one-third of all deaths. Someone dies from one of these diseases every 40 seconds in the USA, and the worldwide numbers are similar. The number of deaths from cardiovascular diseases are increasing, and are expected to increase even more. The low-fat hype and overuse of statins has done nothing to prevent death from cardiovascular diseases. The cost of cardiovascular diseases and stroke total more than $320.1 billion per year in the USA alone. We're talking $2 trillion worldwide. No wonder pharmaceutical companies don't want to miss out on this gold mine. Does it look like we're making progress? No. Because nobody is focusing on the oxidized cholesterol that is really the building block of plaque in your arteries and the cause of stroke and heart attack. The really bad news is that since you probably already have an overload of oxidized cholesterol in your system and plaque is already blocking your arteries, you must take drastic actions to reverse this, just like Oliver and I did. You must work on lowering your oxidized cholesterol level and clear out the plaque in your arteries, or you're going to die. Cold hard fact. Cutting out oxidized fats and replacing them with healthy fats and good cholesterol is only the beginning. There are several key factors that oxidize the cholesterol in your system. Some have to do with your diet, others don't. The good news is that you can tackle all these factors naturally without medications or supplements. This is what they did for Oliver and his star friends in Germany, and what Oliver replicated for me. I was lucky. Since Oliver was my old friend, he became obsessed with helping me regain my health, and ultimately saved my life. He explained everything the doctors in Germany had explained to him, what to cut out and what to keep in to eliminate oxidation. He set up a four-week plan that led me through the new diet and lifestyle process effortlessly. And over those four weeks, he called me every night to plan the next day. Here's the surprise. Every day I felt better, stronger, and happier. Pain I didn't even know I had disappeared. The mental focus I didn't realize I had lost returned. My boss came over to me three weeks into the program and asked me what was going on. He had planned to recommend an early retirement, but now he wanted to promote me. In the gym, I was doing more than kids half my age, and I was loving it. Best of all, the romance in my marriage was blooming. Not just because I had more stamina, but my drive and libido had been refueled, and my wife loved it. However, the biggest surprise was how effortless this all was. I had gone through and failed so many low cholesterol, low fat, low this and low that diets. I had tried so many times to pick myself up in the gym and gain progress. It was always like I was swimming against the stream. But with Oliver's system, it was more like I was swept away. I never felt as though I had to give up anything I didn't like. Of course, I had to make adjustments, but I could still enjoy my Sunday steak and morning scrambled eggs with toast and butter. And then came the shocker. My heart doctor was a leading cardiovascular expert and working at one of the world-class medical institutes in the country. When I went for a checkup after completing Oliver's strategy, he found almost no trace of plaque in my arteries. My bad cholesterol level had dropped from over 200 to below 100, and my good cholesterol had spiked, all without medication. Of course, he was curious and asked me how I did it. Once I told him, he hung his head. I know, he said. 
The fact was that one of the big pharmaceutical companies owned the majority in this world-class medical institute. My doctor's hands were tied. He had to go by what his bosses said, no matter how bad it was for his conscience and his patience. He has since left that institution and opened a small practice of his own to practice real medicine. But without the support of Big Pharma, he's struggling. The first thing I said to Oliver was, We have to tell people about this. We can't just enjoy our lives while others suffer and die. But he was reluctant. He had signed a non-disclosure agreement in Germany, and he would be betraying the trust of a great, powerful friend who referred him to the clinic. This could cost him legal complications. But even more, it could mean the end of his career if the rumor got out. So we settled on a deal. I would create a strategy based on the knowledge that I had gained from Oliver, but I would not mention his involvement or the real underlying cause. We would mask it as a normal cholesterol guide. Long story short, the results were fantastic. Thousands of people used this strategy to completely heal themselves of all kinds of cardiovascular complications. Their cholesterol went to a healthy level and the plaque buildup in their arteries disappeared. I literally have hundreds of testimonials claiming I have saved their lives. But I wasn't happy. My readers were not being fully informed, and the results weren't as quick and drastic as I wanted them to be, and I felt like I was being misleading. In my private office, I could be more honest with my clients, and I saw them advance much faster when they had the full knowledge. I kept on pushing Oliver to allow me to do the same for my readers as he had done for me. At the same time, I understood that he couldn't. Then came the sad news. Oliver died in a fatal race car accident. He had lived his life to the fullest, and that's how he would have wanted to go, although it was much too early. And in his will, he had just one line for me. You're free to go. Take the cholesterol strategy all the way. So now I can tell you the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Finally, I can take you by the arm and lead you step by step through the four-week strategy to completely eliminate all plaque buildup in your arteries and prevent stroke and heart attack. I will teach you exactly which foods cause oxidized cholesterol and which reduce it. You'll be shocked to know about all the delicious foods you can actually eat. I will lead you week by week to add a new step toward dropping your oxidized cholesterol level and clearing out your arteries. Since we will do this little by little, it will be almost effortless. I will give you tools to monitor and manage your strategy, to make sure you succeed with the program. This works exactly the same as when Oliver called me every night, except you don't have to waste your time on a phone call. Best of all is how you're going to feel just four weeks from now. Because unlike simply dropping your cholesterol level, your arteries will actually grow younger and cleaner. You'll have more energy than you thought possible. Blood will now flow effortlessly to your muscles, brain, and skin, giving you this young, fresh, beautiful aura. People will be commenting on how good you look. And you'll not have to worry about having the same fate as the majority of people around you, which is to die from a heart attack or stroke. You'll be able to enjoy your time with your grandchildren and great-grandchildren and get the most out of your golden years with your spouse. Because right now, you've got three clear choices. Choice number one, put your head in the sand. Ignore the signs that your heart is struggling and your arteries are clogged up. Ignore that you don't have the same energy as before because your muscles and organs are not getting enough blood supply. Write this all off as a normal sign of aging. Results? you will most definitely suffer a fatal heart attack or be left paralyzed or worse after a major stroke. It could happen in a year, a month, or today, but it will eventually happen. Choice number two, take dangerous prescription medications that, as we've proven before, do nothing to save your life. They will, however, cause all kinds of complications, even death in the way of side effects. At the very best, they will just worsen your standard of life causing you weakness, nerve damage, and aches and pains. At the very worst, they will lead to cancer and type 2 diabetes before you die from a heart attack. Yes, I'm being harsh on purpose because I want you to live. Results? The same as in choice one, but with bad side effects leading up to it. Choice number three. Take action today to drop your oxidized cholesterol level to clear out your clogged arteries and boost your energy. 
This is beyond avoiding heart attack or stroke, even beyond avoiding dying. This is about drastically improving your life, to feel better than you've felt for years, to have more mental focus, vigor, and joy, to look and feel young and energized again. It's about the comfort you and your family will have, knowing that you're going to stick around for a long, long time. And it's about the pride you will have because you took action. You didn't just give up or take the easy route of popping useless pills. You took the road less traveled. You took matters into your own hands and did it your way. Just think about having a conversation with your friends who are suffering the side effects of statins. Imagine explaining to them why your heart is as good as a 25-year-old's and why you've more energy than they could ever dream of. These are the results my clients have shared with me and what I want you to experience. I hooked up with Blue Heron Health News to publish the Oxidized Cholesterol Strategy. They're the leading publishing company for alternative health information. But most importantly, they offer a top-class in-house customer service team who are trained in natural health and who really care. If you've any questions, don't hesitate to hit the Contact Us link at the top and bottom of this page. We're there for you. We've put the price of the strategy at the absolute minimum, just enough to cover the cost of promoting and supporting the distribution of the oxidized cholesterol strategy. What's more, if you're not 100% satisfied with the strategy, just shoot us one email and we'll refund you on the spot. You can either reply to the email you receive after you place your order or click the Contact Us link at the top and bottom of this and any other page. There is no need to even explain why you want the refund. The only thing we ask is that you contact us within 60 days of ordering. But it will never come to that. Why? Because after you reach the cholesterol strategy and begin putting just one or two things I teach you into action, you're going to feel fantastic. As your heart's arteries unclog, you'll feel more power and energy than you have for years. As more blood flows to your skin, you're going to look younger and feel more energized than you thought possible. You, your spouse, and your children will be happy and relieved as you enjoy your golden years together. Your new life is yours for the taking. But only if you take the first step and click the order button below now. Breaking Update There is currently the threat of a lawsuit against us for sharing the information about oxidized cholesterol and how to eliminate it naturally. The German Health Center as well as some U.S. pharmaceutical companies do not want us to spread this knowledge to the general public, especially since we're doing it for only a fraction of the price they charge in their health center, aside from the additional travel and lodging expenses. So we may be forced by the courts to take this down at any time. This could happen fast, even today or tomorrow. So if this page is not here the next time you visit and this important information is no longer available, you know what happened. I'm going to put up a fight, but I beg you don't let them win the war against your heart and health. Get your hands on the oxidized cholesterol strategy now before it's too late by clicking on the order button below. You owe it to yourself, to your spouse, and to your children.